so this is the May 2022 scroll box. I'm gonna open it. Hi, this is the May scroll box, and I fudged up. I'm gonna own up. Um, uh, I took off the label at the back. And I'm sure I pressed record to the camera and it didn't record. So <laughs> when you, you are not actually see me opening the supplies and seeing what's inside. So now I'm going to show you what's inside and then it's going to go to the clips of me actually trying them out and that is the real thing and obviously that's, that is from a couple of days ago when I actually tried the products and for the first time um so yeah i'm really sorry and this hopefully won't happen again i will make sure fingers crossed touch wood um it won't happen again uh like this isn't an excuse it's my first time i was a bit excited so yeah so here's what's inside the may scroll box 2020 this year so yeah so like I said, it's already open. I did already know. I do already know what's inside, and I will tell you my what I thought at the time. So, I this 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 is the featured artist and the sticker, and I can't say their name. And I did try to say their name in the TikTok that I that I've posted, and it's Alicia Yatsits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yet, sir, yes, sir. I'm sorry, and there is her like a, a th handles and stuff. Like, if like if you can't see it, I will post what they are, I will put on the screen what they are, and I will also put in the link uh, in the in description her what what this is. So, yeah, and look her work is gorgeous and I got the the little zine and I did read this before well I opened all this and then I read this to find out how to use what's inside but yeah I, I will get back to that so we got the uh, A5 watercolour paper I have used a few like I said I have used some it, it's really good paper it feels nice so yeah, this is what came in the box. So first off, I'll, I'll do with this. This is a, a needle ball eraser. I when, when I first opened it, I thought, is this a sweet? Like I said, I'm going to be truthful. I, I was like, is this the sweet that comes with it? Because it was outside the box and it wasn't with the packaging. Um. So yeah, and then I saw this and I was like, ah, that's the sweet, duh, Jane. So yeah, here is that, and it was a. A block it was square and it was nicely wrapped and stuff and it was pure yellow but as you can see I have used it and this is really good I love it I love playing with it <laughs> that sounds well weird but I love I love using it and stuff like that it's probably one of the things these are two of the probably the the, the main things I'll use within this box and I'll move on to this this is the mechanical pencil and you literally press this here and pencil will come out and it's got a little rubber here and I found out that late after the fact like I thought it was just this and no rubber and then I found this and I was like so excited <laughs> but yeah so I've, I've gone through these this is a angled brush size 8 like there so this was really nice to deal with because you could get nice and thick and nice and thin and I'm gonna try and put it back without damaging the brush there we go um there's the list and these are the exclusive peerless watercolor palettes and when I saw these I was like what are these can I use them just the once or can I reuse them? Because at first when I saw them, I thought, if I like using them once and how to use them, like when I first I first thought you had to use them this side. And like I said, I I saw everything that's in the box and then I read this 
I read this and this tells you how to use these in a sense of you don't use it on the name side you use it on the other side and that's the only reason why I knew how to use these or I would have just been like using this this bit but yeah use it on that side and your hands do get dirty quite easily just messing around them dry um, but yeah just a little bit of water and you can keep on reusing these like I've used these a few times now and it's literally just a little bit there and like I said I'm really sorry that um, he didn't see me opening these and like I said I am being really truthful with how my reaction was or like how I was like when I first opened these I thought please to God tell me I can reuse these because I don't want to just be using them just the once um, and like I said I thought this was a sweet but yes, yeah, so I'm very happy with this box. I absolutely love it and I've never tried these before. So when I did try these out, I was like really, really happy with what I got and with the colours. And you know what? I don't I didn't really want to do this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And um anyway, so these are them colours swatched on this watercolour paper so these are the colors and it was really nice and you could probably even go longer than this like with the black I went even longer and stuff so I won't show you any of the other stuff that I've done but yeah this is me testing out the pencil and the rubbers and the the brush and like I said the brush it goes like a, a tip and then it gets thicker and it was really nice because the colors within this palette was gorgeous and I'm so glad that I could reuse it because I've done one or two. I did um, some drafts with it to try and like get used to how to use it because they dry pretty quick. And I did the final, uh, which is in this video. Um, so yeah, and I'm going to try and do another one, which I'm in the process of doing. Uh, and I might show that on TikTok. So yay! <laughs> So now you can go back to the actual video of me trying this all out. Uh, I hope this... I, I'll try not do this again. I'm really sorry for doing this. But yeah, mistakes happen and I'm sorry. So yay. <laughs> See ya. Hmm. Here I am. I forgot to press thingy. I got the color yellow. Ooh. Oh, don't put it on that. This is all I got. Right, so. So floating figures. Hi, so the the challenge is floating figures. Yeah, and I didn't say this. I was just thinking it through my head and I've been watching uh, Peaky Blinders a lot recently. So I decided to try and draw like Tommy or the other guy. Oh my god, what's his name? Our um Arthur uh, and the other brothers, sorry, brain fat. Um, so yeah, and I'm uh, face on because I need a lot more help with that sort of stuff, trying to draw faces. So that's what I've decided to do. <laughs> so here I'm, um, you know, not cell taping, masking taping the thing down so it doesn't 
crinkle and ruffle and trying to make it straight and hopefully the gap is the same size and there I put it over the board bit but that's all fine all good here yay <laughs> so yeah let's carry on So instead of going straight into the drawings, this is actually me testing out the pencil and um, do it, you know, testing out the paints and stuff and finding out how to use them. <gasps> oh my! If you turn that. Oh my god, that is so cool. And this is, is a mechanical slide pencil. Hmm. So yeah. Okay, so yeah. And then I figured out earlier you're supposed to use this side. Not earlier that you're supposed to use no this side. So So here are the, the the paint names. So we've got Ali's Opera, Jack Win Mintol's Red, Ali Sarin Red, uh, Alice Blair, which is like it starts to get to the blues, and then the turquoise blue, which is a re it's a really nice blue. Um, peacock blue, which to me looks more like a green, uh, but yeah, uh, mountain green, hello trope, which looks more like a purple, ecro is like this, it shimmers when it's dried, it's like um, a, a browny goldy colour, and then gambro, gambai yellow, and then we've got bismarck brown, and then neutral tint, and they're the 12 colours that came in this squirrel box. Also, I will put the names of all the colours and all of the actual things in the box right, like, you know, written right, so you can read it properly over me saying it wrong. I know I'm saying it wrong I just can't say it right um yeah I, sorry about that and next time I'll go on google and translate and see what she how she says it and I'll learn that way but yeah sorry <laughs>
me doing some of the drawings um, using Pinterest um, and doing just trying to do loads of different angles so front on side um, most of the pictures that are, that that they've got of the Pika blinders of the you know the reference pictures sorry um, it's, they're quite dark so you can't barely you can barely see the like the hair so that's why I've just shaded that in and and you know tried to guess in a sense and but yeah um, just me trying to figure out the shapes and I hope I did well and I hope I you know represented the you know the likeness pretty good I hope I did anyway <laughs> and well I did ask people if they knew who it was and they did say so Here's another one from a obviously different angle. Um, like I said, I find it difficult to sort their hair out or that they had. Sometimes they wore hats. In this case, they was wearing a hat, so that one was difficult to try and do that. Uh, but I just kind of I need a lot more work on angles and the side views and trying to do different positions and stuff so that is what I'll be working on I'll try and work on different when you know when they're looking at different places and stuff not just like looking straight at you because they're not always looking straight at you and you know so yeah and like I said it's always just weird mine are always weird anyway <laughs> Thank you. 
So here is me actually doing the, the, the drawing, which is going to be the final, the final bit, the final me actually doing, trying to, you know, not test them out, but actually do the, do the artwork with it, the floating figures. Um, I, I, I'm sorry that I didn't get it from the, the start, you know, do the actual process of it I did obviously do it and this is me fleshing it out um, by the end I do rub well not rub it out but I use the kneadable eraser to roll over it to make it faint so the graphite and the from the pencil doesn't interfere with the paints so you can just see the actual paints and the build up from it and hopefully it works Here's a little close-up of the final sketch on this drawing. This is me actually finding out that I, well not finding out, me realising that um, I didn't actually see how the paints interacted with each other and, and everything. So this is actually the next day, so the day before I put everything away. Um, and uh, this is me actually testing it out. Got my sketchbook, and I, I I tested them out in my sketchbook to see what they looked like in the sketchbook. And I grabbed the one that looks like the most like the one that I was gonna use, use the finger, and I tested them out. <laughs> Obviously. Um, I went with the colour that I liked the most, which was the turquoise, the turquoise blue, the, don't know why I didn't, the turquoise blue, which is the nice bright blue, um, so this is me going, you know, for it and seeing how it is, seeing how it went, um, seeing how it goes and, you know, going straight from the, the palette and then I realised later on that maybe I should start to water some of these stuff down so but yeah you'll notice I make mistakes as I go along and that is one of the mistakes but I did read in the zine the the scroll box scene that it gives you that you know you try and work with a limited selection so I with this one I only used this one colour I'm pretty sure if not then I might have used the the other blue I might have used the mountain no the Alice Blair but and that was the one on top the set the, the, the first blue that you see in the book uh, but that's about it with that one if you understand what I'm trying to say when I'm um, when going through with the drawing, I noticed that it was like speckling and you know, like veining out and stuff, which I didn't think was a bad thing. It was, but I quite liked it. Kind of blurred out, and I don't know. Uh, it's a, um, a required taste, I would say. Um, so, yeah. This is just me going through the entire 
the entire lot I'm making mistakes as you can see as I go along just you know let's just plot it down and <laughs> see how it goes but that's how you do that's what you do with that you just try and you fail but you carry on yay <laughs> we learn something new every day using the paper that the scroll box came with with this one um, so the A5 watercolour paper because that will be the paper that I'll be using for the final the, the, the final piece um, so doing some test runs on that and I'm building up this pink skinned I've decided she's pink skinned now <laughs> Uh, so I'm building up the skin nice and I'm, I'm saying slowly but I realize that I kind of go fast a bit too fast when dealing with her and I go back from this paper the the watercolor paper to my sketchbook paper back and forth for them to dry and you know now I'm actually using my palette um, which yeah looks lovely um, and I try it darker with the instead of the light pink I try and get darker with that and that I think that was for the hair for the purple hair but she's gonna wear gold earrings I also wanted that to, to stand out um, 
but like I said, I go back and forth, so my sketchbook might pop up every now and again. <laughs> Let's see. my best with this little guy and I think I am doing all right with it like I said it does vein out I kind of like the texture but later on um, I do half and half with the face where I try and see if I can build more on it if not then I go the other half is just line art and let's just see how that goes <laughs> also a cool one that starts off really that I starts off really good and I feel like it ends really nice um, is the natural tin and it's the one where I've just used natural tin and it builds up nice and slowly um, so I had kind of had patience with that one I feel like maybe I was worried I was working too much on the pink uh, pink skin purple haired female so much that I kind of forgot this one so that just made the process on this one just build up nice and slowly but I kind of like this one yeah and I feel like there is my first mistake on this this pink skin purple haired lady you know what in the comments let's see if we can name her something like, I don't know um yeah, because, yeah, let's see if we can name it something. Anyway, the my first, I felt my, my first mistake was going straight in with the colour on the lips. Um, instead of doing it nice and subtly, and I don't know, I think that that's a pro and a con for me because it made me realise and learn that I didn't like the lips done that way. So it made me realise oh let's do it nice and softly and slowly maybe not do the harsh lines and maybe do the just a tint color change like a tiny color change um so yeah pro con whatever way you think about it it's one of them i know it is but yeah and i make other fudges and other mistakes while working on this rose-like female um but again it just makes me realize that i need to slow down and you know go one step at a time one layer at a time and just build up nice and easy so yeah may that's just me maybe other people already know that i should have known that but obviously not. I rush into things and here we are. <laughs>
Here is in the sketchbook, and this is when I realized, yeah, let's see, let's test this out. So I used a 0 0.3 fine liner, half down the middle, and did one side with fine liner, and you know, did the details that way. And the other side, I carried on with trying to just build up slowly. And like I said, I keep on saying this, just using these watercolors, you just build up. You build and build and build layer after layer and just like hope for the best. Um, though I like quite like these because they they did dry pretty fast. So that is a that is really good. You didn't have to like wait for hours. They dried really fast, so you could go back to it and you know work more onto it. Um, I was talking to my granddad and he said that was probably one of the cons for him. He liked messing around with it. They just dried too fast for him that he couldn't mess around. But for me, I don't know. I like to work quite fast. So maybe I am... Um, I like the watercolours better. So it's all about personal taste. And, and that is why I want to do more scroll boxes because you learn different types of mediums and supplies and it's, you know, it's cool. <laughs> and here is me actually starting the floating figures and I'm gonna try no actually try please comment and see which um, who I drew let's see obviously I've narrowed it down if you've watched the video but yeah let's see if you know who I drew comment below who you think I've drawn please um, I do learn my lesson through my practices and drafts and I have learnt to go slowly and let each thing dry and try and be even with this so I'll leave you to it if I might pop in and out but yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
so this is how I check the eyes because with the eyes it was like they pooled a lot because they were so small so I got the end of the paintbrush and checked it that way I absolutely loved the eyes just for some reason they looked really nice thought I'd just put that little tidbit in fixing uh, one of my mistakes that I I thought I did um, 
which was using blue for the, the jacket, I thought, I thought, you know, having the blue eyes and maybe the blue top would, would fit, but it, it just didn't, me looking over it just did not, so I waited that for the dry, and I put um, a nice brown over it and did it that way, so. Here is everything that came, all of my drafts and my workings out and the final piece. Uh, I hope you liked my video, please like and comment. Um,
Bye. <laughs>